that maybe it's not fixable. Right there. Should have a head on it like this. We've got pinhole leaks that are going to go catastrophic if we don't handle it. Oh, wow. See, guys, this is exactly why you need to do service on your heat exchangers. Becky, come look at this. We bought our old catamaran in October of 2020 to take our family cruising, and we immediately started tackling a lot of the renovations on the boat while knowing nothing about boat work. So far, we've completely made over the salon and the galley, as well as almost the entire electrical system. Now, we're trying to convert this boat into an owner's version. Make sure to subscribe, and hopefully, we're going to set sail this winter. Guys, I have a bit of a problem, and at the moment I'm optimistic that we can get it fixed, but there's always that worry that maybe it's not fixable. So this is the port side engine. Now let's walk over here and look at the starboard engine. Here is the starboard engine. You may notice that there's a big piece missing right here. That is the heat exchanger. And the heat exchanger, the heat exchanger is a very special part for marine engines where it's pulling the seawater. In our case, it's fresh water, but we'll say seawater. The antifreeze flows through these pipes and then, and then the seawater transfers that heat away. So this is something that needs periodic maintenance. Problem is, maintenance appears to be a very long time ago, and I snapped two bolts off in it. Here goes nothing. Oh man, I hate that, but it came loose. That's one. I need to get some penetrating oil on those. I need to kill the power. I need to disconnect the alternator and let it hang over here. Um, alternator looks like it's in pretty good shape. We'll have a look at it a little closer. Um, all of these hoses, we bought new hoses, like this hose and this hose, you can tell they're in pretty rough shape. So we bought new hoses all the way around. Now this engine here has had some work over here on the fuel lines and that to me looks pretty good. A lot of things are gonna be serviced and replaced. The only thing really big is removing the heat exchanger. And at this point, I might have one broken bolt that needs to come out. And that really, really sucks. The machinist said that he recommended that we replace them with stainless, which is what we've done. So um, anywhere that a bolt is coming out, I'm putting stainless back in, with the exception of those long pins that are holding on, um, holding on the heat exchanger because those look like they're doing great. So I'm just make sure that they're really gooped up well with anti-seize. And um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna get busy on taking this all apart. Alright guys, that took me about an hour, but I had the experience from the other engine so I knew what I was doing this time around. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, final disassembly right here. This is where that broken bolt is, right there. Should have a head on it like this. 
So I'm gonna take this apart and we'll see what the heat exchanger looks like in here. Scrub this thing down and then take it to the uh, machinist. Wow, wow, wow. See guys, this is exactly why you need to do service on your heat exchangers. Becky, come look at this. What is that? Oh, it's impeller parts. Like the whole thing's clogged up full of impeller parts. Oh my Lord. Somebody shredded an impeller and didn't even try to go after him. And, and it looks like this stuff, it looks like they didn't even go get an O-ring for it. Even though there were spare O-rings on board, this stuff is like this red, see it here? They've just put like a sealant on there and then snapped it back on. <sighs> There's the right way. And then there's this way. If any of the previous owners are watching this video, I'm not throwing shade at anybody here because I don't know who did this. I'm glad I found it. And now I'm gonna have to take this thing to a machinist to get this bolt drilled out because no one ever opened this thing up in the last like five years. And it looks like I'm gonna need to get Barnacle Buster or something because this has got a lot of caked on stuff. So that means that this red seal it was put on before they shredded it and impeller. That is our neighbor that owns this boat right here. He likes to fly. He's got like a, it's a, it's a propeller driven um, fighter jet. I don't know if it's like old, like a 1950s era or something. I don't really know what it is. But anyway, he's, he's 80 years old, he told me. And he flies this jet around this, this plane and he does really low altitude and maneuvers, pulls G's, all kinds of stuff. So he says, I don't know. Anyway, that's his boat. And he likes to fly overhead so he can check out the marina. If he goes back by, I'll try to catch him again. Good. Does this supposed to have a hole in it? Yeah, that's how the other one looked. I think that's how it circulates the antifreeze oh. or the seawater, whichever it is, around the whole thing. There. Look, look at this red stuff. Do you oh, see it? Oh, yuck. Yeah, none of that should be in there. I'm not sure if that's... Yuck. Barnacles, or if that's like the Ugh. sealant stuff that they've used. I don't that know. Is yucky. Okay. Ugh. We need to clean this thing off. So I'm here at the machinist because these guys are like nothing short of magic, at least in my perspective. They got two bolts out of the heat exchanger on the port side, and then I busted off two bolts on the starboard side. Well, actually, I busted one bolt, but another one was seized in there in a way that I thought it was gonna break, so I just brought it to them and told them, you know, see if they could get it out. They called, that was Monday we dropped it off, yesterday at like, I don't know, three-ish, they called and said, it's all done, come get it. So we're here, you know, 24 hour turnaround, we're here to get it. Um, hope it's not too expensive. Turned out to be a slippery little bugger almost dropped it right there. That would have been $2,500. So you can see where they cooked it. They heated that guy up and they still had to drill it out. He gave me two bolts, three eighths, so it's new. It's now three eighths. It was metric M8. So anyway, um, he thinks that that one's gonna fit in there. He just was afraid it might be a little bit too long, so he gave me this one. Okay. And then they got that one out. Okay. It was $75 this time. Last time it was 50 bucks. So that's okay. Put more work into it. Put more hours into it. This is the heat exchanger that I picked up earlier today. And I've got it scraped down and cleaned, de-waxed, scrubbed. I've got it masked off in the different areas. I'm getting ready to paint it. Um, I've gone with blue for this. I'm using 
this paint here. Not sponsored. This is just what we bought from O'Reilly's Auto Part, this dupli color. It's for engine blocks and it can hold heat up to 500 degrees. I looked it up. These should run around 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And if they get to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, then you need to be, um, you know, concerned. So I think 500 degrees is good. Also over here, um, this is part of the engine. This is, I don't know, the honker. <laughs> I'm calling it the honker. I'm not a diesel mechanic. I'm really not. I'm trying to learn and I think I'm doing okay, but I'm not. So um, I thought that this was an air filter, but it's not. All that is is a silencer because apparently the engine will honk and this mechanism somehow um, silences it so it doesn't honk. Anyway, um, let me get this painted and then I'm excited to show you how these engines are gonna come back together. This is a very critical piece. This is called the mixing elbow. Ours look like this. Oftentimes they look a little different, but this is where the seawater and engine exhaust come to mix. It's a very, very critical piece. And if it springs a leak, then you're gonna get salt water spraying over your engines. And that has happened on this boat before on the starboard side. And at that time, I'm pretty sure it was 2016, according to the ship log, the mixing elbows were replaced. So this, was 2016 and all in all it doesn't look too bad you can kind of see there's some gunk there on the inside but this little part right here had me alarmed can you pick up on that rust right there so this is oriented this way and then this is the bottom so the other one the other engine had the exact same thing and i went and i tried to clean it up so I wire brushed it and scrubbed it as best I could. It looks like it's just steel, powder coated steel, but I don't know if you guys can see in here. Can you make out all the pitting? I think that we've developed pinholes. So from 2016 until now, we've got pinhole leaks that are going to go catastrophic if we don't handle it. So this is a bummer because these are about $300 each. So we're looking at well, or more than 300, we're looking at close to $700 for two. So I'm going to give a plug to a different company here that we are not sponsored by, but this company here, HDI Marine, they are located in Washington. They make mixing elbows. And remember how I said that this one is just was carbon steel and it's powder coated and, and that should give it a little bit of life. And I guess it did from 2016 until now. But these ones from HDI are 316 stainless. Look at that. I don't know any boater that doesn't like to look at bright, shiny 316 stainless steel parts that replace their original. This is fantastic. They said it's like 20, maybe 30% thicker. It is considerably heavier than the last one and it looks like it's otherwise a one-to-one -one replacement. So very, very excited about these, and they were uh, approximately 170, so we got two for the cost of one, give or take, and it comes with the gasket that you need to go in between it and the uh, heat exchanger, which these are usually sold separately if you buy it from uh, a diesel parts Yanmar replacement. So quick plug for them. I don't know these guys. We didn't speak to them. We found them online. We weren't even sure if they were a real, because um, the price seemed to be too good to be true. We weren't sure if it was like the real deal or if it was one of these fake scam websites. So we got on and we looked at reviews and it just had overwhelmingly positive reviews. So if we should need to buy anything that these guys sell, HDI Marine, um, so far, I highly recommend. Very, very, very nice piece of equipment here. So let's get these installed and then hopefully we won't have to worry about it maybe ever. Okay, Becky's about to turn a key on this engine. Ready? Yep, ready. I think 
so it's got water coming out. Kick louder. Yes. Turn it off, I got a leak. Okay, so I had two hose clamps that weren't tightened down and I know how that happened because I put hoses on first and then I tried to put the heat exchanger in and I couldn't and I had to undo them and apparently I came, I forgot to go back to tighten them up. I think it was river water, not antifreeze, so that's good. And uh, let's give it another go. Ready. All right, guys, I don't know if you can tell, the sun's going down, but hopefully we're on the cusp of a big accomplishment because I have the second engine all put back together. Have a look, this is starboard. You've been seeing some of both, starboard and port, but this one is in. I believe all of the hoses are actually tightened up this time. And it's got fluid. I just checked the oil. Oil still looks brand new from when we did an oil change a few months ago. I haven't even ran these engines long enough for the oil to get dark. Um, we found an alternator on board. This alternator looked really rusty and the contacts were really corroded. So we swapped it out for an alternator on board. I think this one's slightly higher amperage. I think it says 80. Um, I don't know what the old ones were. Anyway, previous owner left us an alternator. So we've installed it. All right. There we got water. Looks freaking awesome. Sounds awesome. Lots of water coming out. Guys, I am stoked. This is sweet. I am so excited to have these engines done. New hoses, heat exchanger completely cleaned out, new O-rings, new mixing elbows. This one has a new alternator. I think we're set. I think engine-wise we are set to go cruising. What do you think? Okay guys, that's... Well that stinks. I was just about to say that's a wrap, but now I gotta go rescue a bottle. All right, that's a wrap. Make sure to subscribe and drop us a comment. All right, we'll see you next time.